So my name is Tim Scott and my story is odd because I came here just to do some construction work and God had different plans for me. And we've been involved in Celebrate Recovery here at Newberry at CHH for more than three years now, trying to help those, which means all of us who have hurts, habits, and hangups recover from what we go through in life. This building originally started as the Newberry Church of the Nazarene and it fell on hard times and was closed and Tim Crump, our district superintendent, wanted to repurpose it as a compassionate ministry center. And over a couple years, as we rebuilt the building and, and got it into better shape, Celebrate Recovery was something we wanted to try and Cindy Crump kicked that off with us and it's been going for three years now. God has been moving here from the very beginning. We've had people come in that we didn't expect that just got word of mouth and showed up right at the time for a story they needed to hear to help them recover. We've had people with physical needs that God reached in miraculously and touched in their lives. We've had people that, that needed a place to stay as they were coming out of recovery and God just worked all the little pieces together and where there was no room at the end, all of a sudden there was a place available for somebody to live. And it's just been amazing as God has walked with all of us through this recovery process of how he's blessed. The connections we've made here are amazing. There will be connections that last us through all our lives. It's amazing how God gives you love for the people he puts in your path. And, uh, you know, we've become involved with, with people's families and their personal lives. And it's just each one is a, is a story of grace and, and God's touch. Some, some people here have been through horrors that I can't imagine how they deal with them. And God's grace has been sufficient. You know, it's not, it's not me ministering to them, it's us ministering to each other because seeing how God's grace can cover every single hurt, habit, and hang up has just been amazing. We award coins for progress in our recovery program. And so every month we pass out coins of that month's progress to reward people and highlight how well they're doing. It is great to celebrate with them these milestones and when they reach a full year of recovery we make a clock for them to have as a keepsake a remembrance of the journey they took through the first year and the clock holds each one of their monthly coins so that they're able to see their progress and and hold on to it and hold on to god better by that remembrance Hello, my name is Isaac Powers. Um, I live in Odin, Indiana. Um, I go to Sober Recovery over at Newberry for my anger. And this place has helped me out a lot. Helped me out control my anger, which I've been doing great for 17 months. And hopefully, I'll get through for another 17. I guess one thing I'd like to share is, is how much Celebrate Recovery has made a difference in my own life. I've been a Christian nearly 60 years now and uh, been walking with the Lord, but when I opened the books of Celebrate Recovery and saw the how close it was to the pattern of John Wesley's ministry and, and growth program. Saw how much I had in baggage still hanging over my life that impacted the way I made my decisions. I didn't have to bear any of that anymore. God's grace was sufficient to help me drop off that baggage. And there are still things I work on today to help me get better and recover further. God's grace is sufficient. Whoever you're dealing with, it could be anything. As long as you've got God on your side and people to support you, that's all really matters to get you through it all.